It is no question that the inaugural Formula One race here in Las Vegas had some great moments. In fact, remember Max Verstappen singing Viva Las Vegas while crossing the finish line. And there was a massive amount of money that was pumped he, he into was, our city. And we also had to get ready for this big event that cost as well. But for locals, some people couldn't even get excited about this inaugural race because their business was taking such a massive hit. And it had to do with that bridge near Flamingo and Koval that blocked guests from buying anything in those brick and mortar stores around or restaurants. You've heard from some of these business owners. If you haven't, let's refresh your memory. We call it now the bridge to bankruptcy because if they construct it again, I don't believe these small businesses can withstand two years in a row of, you know, multi-million dollar loss. And we've had so many different businesses like Ellis Island that is seeking now more than $50,000 in compensation because of their losses. And you're seeing Ferraros, also Batista's hole in the wall. We've heard from all of the owners about how bad this was for business. So they got a petition together because they didn't even want this next race for as far as the second race to move forward in case the issues weren't addressed. Well, it sounds like this squeaky wheel is getting the grease. Let's bring in right now our Andrew Nomura. And because of that bridge and it being so bad for so many businesses, it sounds like they are making modifications for this second race coming up in November. Yeah, they will be reducing this temporary bridge in order to ease the frustrations of all of the business owners that you mentioned, Kim. So this temporary bridge will be reduced from four lanes down to two lanes. Now this change got the green light from people like the Las Vegas at Las Vegas Metro Police Department, Clark County Public Works, uh, other emergency management officials saying that two lanes provide sufficient safe access. So. The bridge will be on the entire south side of Flamingo, covering up the eastbound lanes of uh, Colval and Flamingo. And that leaving that would leave the uh, westbound lanes open. The reduced bridge will also shorten installation compared from 10 days in 2023 down to just seven days this year. Several business owners, just like you mentioned, like Ellis Island Casino, complained and filed a lawsuit stating that all of the traffic buildup block the entrance to the property along with construction. Now we do know that a pedestrian bridge that was located on the south side of the intersection during last year's race will also be moved to the north side. The bridge is necessary according to Formula One to allow inside access to the track. Uh, the installation is set for mid October. The teardown is set for mid December. Kim, we'll send it back to you. Thank you for the latest appreciate and hopefully that's music to the ears of so many business owners in that area. Fingers crossed. Thank you, Andrew.